better living through chemistry, presents the Cavalcade of America. Tonight, our star is the well-known Hollywood actor, Robert Taylor, who is currently starred with Deborah Carr with a cast of thousands in the MGM Technicolor production, Quo Vadis. Charge 
did no good, of course. A giant of a man seized me in his arms and carried me off to the bandit's wagon train. They took me with them back into Missouri, leaving our little town a smoking ruin. I don't wonder you learned what hate can be. I hated no one then, nor do I now. I hate evil only. I was well treated in Missouri. Uh, Dr. Keenan in Lafayette County took me into his home. He had a daughter, Molly Keenan. Juanita, I called her because we both loved that song. Well, I guess I fell in love with Molly. And so, just before the, before the war, I went back to Missouri to teach school. One day after school was out in my one-room schoolhouse, I was practicing on the harmonium we used for singing class. Wait a minute. It's locked. I'm coming. Well, Jim Peters, come in, come in. Quick, shut the door. Lock it again. Well, what's the trouble? Quick, Brown. Here, give me the key. They may be here any minute. Any minute. Ooh, what, what is this, Jim? Vigilantes. Tom Bailey and his wild crowd. you got to clear out of here. Spence before they get you. But why? I've had some trouble with Bailey, sure, but nothing I can't handle. It's different now, Spencer. They think you're John Brown's son. You know how they hate old man Brown and all the Kansas abolitionists? But I've explained long ago. There were two Browns in Osawatomie. One was John Brown, but my father's name is Orville. I know, but one of Bailey's men just got back from Kansas, and he swears you're the son of John Brown. Look here, Spencer, I'm your friend. I tell you, they'll string you up. I'm risking my own life coming here. Now, I, I left my horse saddled at the back entrance. Take it and get out of the door of I can't run away, Jim. And there's, there's Molly. It was Molly who sent me. I didn't want to come. But I love her too, Brown. You know that. Yes, I know. She wants you to escape. She'll join you later. It wasn't easy for me to do what she asked. Oh, I don't like it, Jim. I don't want to run. Randy, you want to hang? Get me tarred and feathered? I tell you, Molly begged me to get you to go. Sorry. But I don't. There they are. Not enough. I know that country well, sir. Very well. 
I have good reason to know it well. If you would send me there, sir, as a spy... Yes. Well, now, Kellogg, I'm surprised. I've always thought of you as a... Well, as a, as a good man, no doubt, but... No uh, daredevil, not much of a sailor? Well, that's what I mean, I'm afraid. Sir, a daring man with an air of not being a daring man, that, that could be a good spy if he knew the country. Hmm. But, uh, why do you want to volunteer? You have a good berth here, easy duty, plenty of time ashore in St. Louis? I have personal reasons, Captain. Very important reasons. Don't make me tell you why. Well, let me think it over, Kellogg. I'll send for you again this evening. Very well, then, Kellogg. You'll leave tonight. A rowboat we left for you aft. At eight bells, you'll cut adrift and head downstream. With Jake Truckle as ointment. I'm glad old Jake's going along, sir. Good. Truckle will take cover in Corinth at the house you know. You will move about and get what information you can find to him for transmission. He'll be able to reach us. We had arranged for that before you spoke up. Very good, sir. You know, um, we'll have to report Spencer Kellogg as a deserter. The news will be published here in St. Louis. Other newspapers will pick it up north and south. Your uh, parents may read them. Not my parents. No. I hope you understand what you're doing, Kellogg. I do, sir. I think you do. I'm betting on it. So am I. I'm betting my name on it. I need him. All right, take him. And remember, he 
It's your responsibility. Yeah. 
Jackson, then here after Vicksburg. You've been very kind to me, Chaplain, here in the Castle Thunder over all these weeks. I've done only what I must always do. My task here is simple. Yes. Perhaps I tried to do too much. I was unwise, and in the end, there was no simplicity. I tried to pay back, to find revenge. I know better now. I think you can take your name again, Spencer. Proudly. Or humbly. Tomorrow, I can. It is tomorrow. Look, out the window. Gellard? Yes, that's right. It is tomorrow. Your son Spencer was executed here this morning. I have but just now come from the place of execution, and the sounds of that place are still in my ears. I cannot at this moment write to you as fully as I would. Later, I shall write to you again. No one of us shall ever forget your son. And how, when the muffled drums had stopped, Okay.